Hey Glam Dolls, so I'm here today to share with you all um, this eye look that I created by using my very own cosmetic palette. Yes, I am so, so, so excited. Now, this palette right here is just a sample of my uh, cosmetic line that will be launching very, very soon. But what I, you know, need to start doing is testing out the quality of my eyeshadows and you know doing makeup looks with them and just seeing how they actually uh, work now this palette palettes because I have more than one these palettes have my blood sweat and tears uh, put into them and on top of that uh, I'm just so excited to actually be able to hold the palette see the palette smell the palette, touch the palette, and everything else that comes along with having uh, a cosmetic line. Enough of me rambling, because I do want to show you at least how I create this eye look. So keep watching the video, and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later dolls! So Glam Dolls, I am just too excited to do this video today. I am really, really, really excited. I just can't contain myself, but okay. So here we go. Here is the palette. Here it goes. This is my first palette and here's my second palette. And I'm going to be using both of them today in the video to create the look that you saw in the intro. So uh, my first palette is my warm tone palette because you know I'm a neutral girl at heart, especially if you an official glam doll. It has the glitters at the bottom and warm tone colors on top. And the second palette is me stepping way out my comfort zone with my fun palette. These, this, well, this is the colorful palette. And together, I will be using both of them to complete the uh, look that you saw, like I said, in the intro of this video. So I'm so excited, but you know what? Let's just get this video going. So I'm gonna start out by priming the entire mobile area of my eye. And with the warmth of my fingertips, I'm gonna blend all the way up towards my brow bone. Once I finish blending the primer, I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in a color called Medium Beat to set that primer. And um, I'm also gonna use this as a transitional color. So my warm palette, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm taking this brown color right here, which I kid you not, is just like my um, Saddle Brown eyeshadow that you all know that I'm so obsessed with. It separates the brow bone from the crease. And I'm gonna take it and pop it in the crease in a windshield type motion. Be sure to blend this out to avoid having harsh lines. And I'm using that first brown color right there. Now to, as I blend this out, I'm saying to myself, I really wanna warm my eye up. So I'm going to now go back into the palette and take the next brown color, which is a tad bit darker, just to start deepening that crease and really warming my eye up. So I'm dipping that right there. And now I'm taking that and putting that directly in the crease a little bit lower than where I placed the first eyeshadow because I want a gradient effect going, but I'm gonna start really uh, warming my crease up. So this black eyeshadow, whoo child. The black eyeshadow is insanely pigmented. Uh, the tiny bit of it is going to go a long way. As you can see, I'm focusing that in on the outer V. This is what's really helping to create the definition that is in my eyes and just a tiny bit of that black is going to take you a long way i kid you not so i'm now going to go ahead and take my uh, nyx cosmetics milk cream base and dab that only on the mobile area of my eye and with the warmth of my fingertips i'm blending this out as i apply it using this white base is really what's going to help to make the colors that i'm applying next pop which is my fun palette. So I'm taking that first pinkish color and whoo chow, as you can see, this palette is very, very pigmented color. You see, you're definitely going to get, and with a densely uh, packed eyeshadow brush, I'm patting it on the entire mobile area of my eye, being sure not to take it up into the crease because I want to keep this only on the mobile area of the eye. And with a very dense uh, eyeshadow brush, I'm just patting it on the mobile area of the eye. Oh, so here's the scary part. This is the glitter. Watch what happens. Wow, look at that, look at that. 
the glitters are insanely pigmented i like using the warmth of my fingertips personally to apply glitter however makeup is always a matter of preference you can totally use an eyeshadow brush if you like but i'm using the warmth of my fingertips and i'm dabbing the glitter on the mobile area of my eye dragging it slightly up into my crease area but to show you what I mean by an um, eyeshadow brush, as you can see on the other eye, I started out using the eyeshadow brush. But like I said, makeup is a matter of preference. I'm going to use my fingertips. And again, like I said, on the first eye, I'm going to dab it on and blend all the way up slightly into my crease. And I'm using my fingertips just to dab this glitter on. These glitters are very, very pigmented too. What color you see, color you're going to definitely get along with the glitter effect. Absolutely is loving it. So off camera, I, you know, I did the false eyelashes and wing liner. And now I'm moving to using a golden glitter eyeshadow stick, which is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And this is just to brighten up my tear ducts and to um, help make the gold pop a little bit better i'm gonna take the warmth of my fingertips and just blend it in towards the eye uh the glittered shadows so as you can see i like using my fingertips a lot when applying makeup now speaking of app applying i've been using these silicone uh, beauty blenders and i must admit it has really improved the quality of my makeup game and how my foundation has been looking lately so i purchased this from my local dollar tree the silicone beauty blender so if you have a dollar tree near you it is very much worth you looking into and i'm also going to highlight using my wet and wild highlighting palette right there a little bit of it goes a long way because i just want to highlight i don't want to strobe and blind nobody and i'm going to set my makeup using my skin denavia bridal facial setting spray um, I like using this setting spray. It helps my makeup to last all day. And then I'm applying my favorite blush in the whole wide world, Milani Cosmetics Rose de Rio. A little bit of that goes a long way because I'm not much of a blush wearer. And now I'm going to outline my lips with my Milani Cosmetic Lip Pencil and use my nude Miss Glamour Addict lipstick. Check this out. Gorgeous. My lipsticks are infused with vitamin E. And um, they definitely is hydrating and very moisturizing. But this is concluding the look. So not bad, huh? I like how this look came out. The palette will be out very shortly. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And I will see you in another video again shortly using another palette. Later, dolls.